All right, today we're going to be working on the rear brakes, uh, changing out at least, or I'm going to see if I can go have my rotor turned if there's anything left of it. Uh, and then associated with that, of course, we'll be changing out the brake pads. Um, and I might change out the caliper too, just because it uh, it indicated yesterday. Yesterday I drove to work and I could you know feel it dragging, and then when I went to back out of my spot after work, my back wheel was stuck. And I had to I had to kind of you know goose on the truck to get it to overcome that brake being locked up. And I imagine probably what had happened was just the the pads got so hot dragging that they probably kind of fused uh, to the rotor. So I don't think that the caliper is necessarily bad, but you know play it safe I'll probably change it out anyway. So anyway, let's get this tire off here and get a look at it and we'll see what we got to do. nuts off. I'll hit there. Work it out to ya. These big old tires, man, they're just a mess. And I'm gonna lay that down because one, I don't want to fall on me, but two, I don't want my kids to come out here and have it fall on them. Okay, so Here's your rotor, which of course this is all one piece. Brake caliper, bracket. The issue, the front of the rotor looks pretty nice and smooth, right? Let's see if we can see the back of it or not. Y'all might not be able to get a good view of it. Oh, uh, well. Oh, here we are. I can't see what y'all are seeing. I'll just show it to you when I get it off there, but it's pretty nasty. All right, we got her all off there now. Just like the front, there's uh, two bolts. And you, while well, you take your uh, brake line loose from the caliper, then there's two bolts that hold the caliper into the bracket, and then two bolts that hold the bracket on. So you gotta get the, this bracket here, get it out of the way, and then you can get your whole rotor off. So yeah, she's uh, just a bit crashed and let me show you the brake pad this is incredible the brake pad itself was actually getting chewed up so that is just unbelievable how bad that is I can't tell if it's focused on or not come on there we go I think there we go I think you got her now yeah unbelievable that brake pad is just junked down to the rivets rivets and then some so anyway, I'll take this rotor over and uh, see if they can turn it. If they can't, hopefully they can get me one. And uh, I actually just got a call that I got some parts in for the excavator too. So I'm going to try to make one run out of all of it and go get them all. That'd be good. Okay, so let me get it turned here and then we'll set up once I get my new parts and pieces and we'll put it all back together. Alright, so we got our pile of loot here. Um, unfortunately the old rotor couldn't be turned down. It was at its max already. Um, but I got a brand new rotor here, new brake pads, new calipers just in case. The calipers maybe are fine, that may not be the reason why it burned up that brake pad, but just to be safe, it, you know, might as well replace them, at least then I know it's done. So, going to get this rotor thrown on there, and um, yeah, I mean there's no sense in showing you what it looks like, just the rotor, because it's just going to be the rotor on the stud, but I'll get it all thrown back together as far as the um, brakes and stuff, and then I'll show it to you before I put the tire back on. Well, whatever. I will show it to you. There it is. I had to show it off because it's just so freaking gritty. So I got the rotor thrown on there. It just slides on over your studs. Y'all know that. And then these two bolts in the back. Um, I'll get my bracket put on there to kind of hold the rotor in place and then the caliper. Okay, so I got the rotor on there, got the bracket back on, and got the caliper dangling down. This is something I do, uh, and I leave, just put the bottom bolt in, and leave the bolt here loose enough that you can swing this around, and then I get my brake pads set up in here because the brake pads, they have a little clips and springs they set in, and they have a little recoil spring that makes them want to pop back out. So you've got to get it all put together and hold the pads together. And then while you're holding them, flip the caliper up over it so it keeps them contained. And then you can put your top bolt back in. Let me show you if I I'll try to show you here. Let me get it put together. 
All right, well, that took a lot longer than anticipated. I uh, went to put my new caliper on and it wouldn't fit. I thought, what the heck? Couldn't get it to slide over the pads and also slide over the uh, slide pins. And I was looking in the box and the new caliper comes with new slide pins. I thought, well, that's all well and good, but I can't get the old ones out. And uh, I mean, I was sitting there trying to pull on them real, not trying real hard, couldn't get them out. Um, but anyway, uh, what I found, I couldn't find my manual. I think I threw it in the trash, my Chilton manual, go figure. I think I threw it away. Um, but I just got online real quick and looked what to do about the, the slide pins being messed up because I went, what, oh, so I went to put my new, my old caliper back on thinking maybe the new one was the wrong size and it was the same problem. It wouldn't fit. So, okay, so my slide pins are stuck and they're stuck too far out. Well, I couldn't back them out anymore to pull them all the way out and put the new ones in. So I just pulled the bracket off there, got in here on the vise and, uh, went after it with some penetrating oil and a hammer. Now I can't say BFH because it was just a little framing hammer. So I guess you'd just be a FH. Um, but just some penetrating oil, smacked it good a couple times and managed to get them to slide in enough that I could get it to fit. Now that's not ideal. Um, ideally I'd pull them all the way out, clean out the bores and put the new pins back in with grease like you're supposed to, but it's late and I've got to drive this thing to work tomorrow. So I've got to get it put back together for now. And like all good problems, I'll deal with it later. But anyway, I've got it all stuck back together, brake lines hooked back up. Gonna get some brake fluid in here, get the truck started, and get the brakes bled, get my tire on, and I'm done.